Welcome to Pastor's Chat. We're looking at Colossians chapter 1, maybe one of the most interesting verses and sometimes hard to understand in the entire book is found here in Colossians 1 verse 24. The Apostle Paul, after he has spoken about being a minister, being a minister to all that he comes in contact with, with the gospel of Jesus Christ, being someone that God is working through to share the great message of redemption, reconciliation, the message of the good news of Jesus Christ that can reconcile all things in the universe, in the world, every creature, every person, everything, one day brought back to its original purpose of creation, honor, glorifying God, in perfection. Well, Paul said that's what he was a minister for to everyone that he came in contact with. But he also realized it would not be an easy road. And in verse 24, this verse that I said is sometimes difficult to understand, he says, Now I rejoice in my suffering for your sake, and in my flesh I am filling up what is lacking in Christ's afflictions for the sake of his body, that is the church. Now, God sanctifies us the moment we get saved, as Paul's pointed out. The moment we come to Christ, we're set apart for his glory. And there is a calling of God that comes upon our life. Remember what Jesus said in Matthew chapter 5, verse 39, But I say to you that you resist not evil, but whoever smites you on the right cheek, turn to him the other also. These verses that Jesus speaks of here speak and reveal the humiliation of being a Christian. Naturally, if a man does not hit back, it's because he's a coward. But spiritually, if a man does not hit back, it's a manifestation of the Son of God in him. When you're insulted, you must not only not resent it, but you make it an occasion to exhibit the Son of God in your life and in your flesh, filling up that which is behind of the afflictions of Christ. My friend, you cannot imitate the disposition of Jesus Christ. It's either there or it is not. When Jesus is living in you, and that's what this book of Colossians is about, you're able to come to the place where you can rejoice, Paul said, in my sufferings for you, my sufferings for other. The teaching of this verse and the teaching of the Sermon on the Mount is not do your duty, but do what is not your duty. It is not your duty to go the second mile to turn the other cheek. But Jesus says that if we are his disciples, we shall always do these things. There will be no spirit of, well, I cannot do any more. I've been so misrepresented or misunderstood. But my friend, every time we insist upon our own rights, we hurt the Son of God. We try to present or prevent Jesus from being hurt if we take the blow ourselves. But that means we are filling up that which is behind of the afflictions of Jesus Christ. We realize that it is the Lord's honor that is at stake, not our own lives, not our honor. Well, we never look for right in the other man, Oswald Chambers said, but we never cease to be right. If we're looking for justice, we should never find it because the teaching on the Sermon of the Mount is never look for justice, but never cease to give it. You see, God uses other people sometimes to squeeze us, and that's not comfortable. We are suffering, but we are filling up that which is behind of the afflictions of Christ. Christ was afflicted for our sake. He suffered. He went to a cross and died because he loved the church. And when we allow ourselves to suffer for Christ's sake, to be misrepresented, to me be misunderstood, we get the opportunity to manifest the life of Jesus Christ in us. And either that life is there or it's not. And when it's there, things are different around us because we exhibit with our disposition, with our attitude, with our response to suffering, what it means to fill up that which is behind of the afflictions of Jesus Christ. Yes, to complete what Jesus Christ came to do, and that is to manifest who God is, His love, His grace, His mercy. May God help us to do that today. 
I have learned so much from the devotions of Oswald Chambers in this area, filling up that which is of the afflictions of Christ, which means I give up my right to myself so that Jesus Christ might be glorified in us and through us for his sake, the body, the church. God bless you as you give up only right that you really have the right to yourself. Have a great day.